Hi, one of the things um, I just wanted to just show you uh, something I do on my own boat, uh, uh, doing what I call a, a basic rig check. Well, I'll have a quick look around the standing wire periodically um, at the start of the season and sometimes after we've done a lot of sailing or passage making or something like that. And so I just want to show you a couple of things about rigging pins which are really important to know about. Um, I actually prefer Clevis pins but I'll show you a couple of those in a minute as well. So here's, here's the first bit. So on Chianti we've uh, got um, standing rigging with a cap shroud here and two lowers which go all the way up there and you can see the caps go out through the spreaders and you can't really see a lot unless you actually go up the mast but what I want to show you here is more what's going down on deck because quite regularly when you're sailing you've got things like Genoa sheets like this that can come past especially the cap shroud in particular and sometimes the rear lowers uh, and, and things like split pins can get plucked and one of the things I always uh, do is just make sure that the split pins like this, these ones here are, are, are rolled over. They're a little bit longer than I would have liked but when we were in France um, it was the only split pins I could get. Again getting the right diameter is, is really important. The, this one here in my hand is way too small for this size um, bottle screw. And the other thing is, uh, the bit you can't see, but I've got one here that um, I replaced a couple of years ago uh, for our mizzen mast. You can actually see there's a flat spot um, on the actual uh, pin itself, on the rigging pin. And that's exactly where uh, crevice corrosion starts from, if you're not careful. And so, again, it's really important to have a, a, a periodic check Make sure that all the split pins are down and, and if and ideally turned over back on themselves this is is more to protect your crew uh, there's there's one just forward here on my own boat here which has actually um obviously got pulled and i'm just going to turn show you how i turn that now so just move myself up the boat a little bit but again this little edge here can catch all sorts of things so what i just do is use my gerber and turn them back in on themselves and just turn them so that they've got this nice little turn on the neck. Um, never reuse rigging pins. I just think it's a complete uh, foolhardy thing. But there is a better alternative than rigging pins. Uh, sometimes on things like this you can't, on split pins, sometimes you can't do anything more than this. And the whole idea of them uh, is to stop the bottle screws uh, turning, which uh, some people think isn't possible, but it, it, it is. The one thing please don't do is start wrapping uh, PVC tape around this. If you see PVC tape wrapped around these things, take it off because the moment you wrap PVC tape around this, you starve the oxygen, uh, any moisture trapped in the threads, and off you go with the old joyful crevice corrosion. So th these are just over five years old. I've just had a good look around them. They're all good. What you've got on Chianti here is also these uh, covers, which are literally just screwed down with plenty of sealant around them to try and stop the water coming through the deck. It's, it's not a bad system. A lot of Moody's and, and some of the Sadler Range and one or two other uh, production boats have them. These are Italian and when I last took these off uh, five years ago, uh, I couldn't get over how well sealed they were down below. And again, I was checking this shoulder here where water can get trapped. And, and these, this season, we will probably rake all these out again and lift them off and redo them again. But that's that. Let me just show you what I prefer uh, instead of uh, split pins. So down here in the cockpit, uh, we've got one of the forward lowers for Chianti's mizzen mast. And um, this is what I really like, rigging pins. If you can imagine split pins sticking here and being by the, my helm where I am here, uh, there's nothing worse than having a split pin sticking in you, but also you're frequently going forward from the cockpit. And uh, a split pin is a great thing to get stuck in your ankle or your... Um, uh, sailing boots or whatever. But, so these clevis pins, um, depending on where in the world you are, uh, they can be anything from uh, 50, 50 um, pence in the UK to 50 cents in, in, in Europe. And, and they really are well worth doing and having. And I've done them on all my uh, rig here. I just got my passerelle on the back here. This one is uh, far too long. And again, something we need to swap over. But you can see the whole intention of the, the clevis pins. It's, it's just a really neat way of finishing off. 
and also make sure you use the right size that the, the, the uh, bottle screw can't turn with them in. That's the whole object of them. Anyway, hope you find that of interest and um, keep watching. I've uh, put loads of little knots up recently, ready for the Southampton Boat Show in uh, 2023 in September, where I'm going to be on the Fordex stage. But uh, come and join me. Thanks for watching.